What is the cheapest Mark 8 GCI Club Sport in the UK? So I'm going to go through and find the, the cheapest one for you and show you guys, just to give you an idea where the market is at, basically. Um, I'm recording this sort of, sort of like the end of September 2021. Um, if you're familiar with my channel, I've driven the car a couple of times now. I hope to have um, a Club Sport 45 on the channel soon. In fact, I may have already driven it by the point that you're re um, watching this video. Um, but yeah, as you can see initially, start from the top the most expensive and i'll show you the cheapest it just gives you a good gauge of where the market is at i talk about that a lot on my channel as well and hopefully it gives you some insight of where things are at at the moment um, on this pretty sensational hot hatch so yeah let's get straight into it so the mark 8 club sport fantastic front wheel drive 300 horsepower dsg only a great great car um now the first thing to mention is there is a special edition called the 45 the edition 45 which is basically what vw bring out sort of every kind of every five years there was an edition 40 there's an edition 35 etc and it's just basically a limited run um as it says here rare <laughs> there's not as many of them and it comes with a few extra little bits such as an acroprovich exhaust 19 inch wheels extra decals a little bit of improved sort of like interior trim a black roof um yeah a few little things in that regard and it's a limited run and actually, if you've seen my recent videos, it's not actually available to buy anymore. And that is potentially why, along with the car market, this car is up for £47,999. And this car list was initially up for about 39700 Obviously, you could put options on this car. This car could have a few options, such as dynamic chassis control and things like that to bring it up, but it wouldn't bring it up to 48,000. I, I, I doubt it. Um, so this is Overlist and the dealer here in Blackpool are trying to make a quick buck, really, which is it's a shame. It's a real shame for enthusiasts who kind of want to get hold of this, hold of this car. But hopefully, if you check out my channel, you get to see this car in person. Um, yeah, it does seem uh, extraordinarily high. Um, and as you can see, there's a few others now. There's another um, Clubs for 45 with 5,000 miles for 42,800. Um, let's see if there's another 45. That's the only two 45s on Auto Trader. Um, what I was going to continue to say is I checked the market again, and the Edition 45, the Clubs for Edition 45, was actually about a thousand pound increase. It was close to 41,000 pound list just before it disappeared off sort of like the UK configurator site. So it did go up in money as well. But yeah, it's 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 quite extraordinary. Let's have a quick look at this forty eight thousand pound car. Um yeah and let me see what you guys think. Oh the video does not exist. What a shame. Um not good if you want to sell a car for 48 grand VW. Um this one looks quite cool. Um registered by the owner there's the Acrovage exhaust it's in white yeah, I mean, there's not really too much else to say. It looks pretty similar, actually, to um, obviously the standard club sort, which I've driven on the channel, which I've enjoyed. 19-inch wheels look great. You really get to see those brakes a lot better as well, which is cool. Red pins tripe might not be for everyone, but looks looks pretty special. Yeah, there you go. Um, it doesn't look like it's got too many extra options, unless um, I'm wrong. Let me just quickly check. So it says it's in special pure white paint and it doesn't say about DCC. So the advantage of that car is it's basically brand new and it's an edition 45. Um, that is a crazy, a crazy number. Um, but let's just briefly check a one, which is a slightly more reasonable price, actually. That's not too far above list. But a cool looking car, nonetheless. And that's basically the top of the range of the club sport range basically um so you're never going to get more expensive than that but essentially it is the same car as the standard club sport it's just limited run the most expensive sort of non club 45 is just under forty thousand pounds so 39.995 so that gives you a bit of a benchmark they're sort of trading for list over list just because of the way the market is at the moment and you can see there's quite a few up there in the high 30s this car list was around about 37 38 pounds so yeah, people are basically getting their money back <laughs> or well, certainly the dealer's making a bit of a, a bit of a margin. But let's get straight to it. Let's see the cheapest one available because that always gives such a good benchmark of, of the range. Um, and I'll try and find one from like a private seller and a dealer as well. It looks like a lot of these are from dealers. Um, but the cheapest one for sale, given a nice lower price um, from a dealer, 33,999, uh, nearly 11,000 miles. So they've really driven it. 
but because they've driven it, you can get a good deal. So for just under £34,000, you can get one, which I think is pretty impressive, given there's not many around. In fact, on this um, listing, there's only 20 cars showing for sale, including those 245s that are shown. Um, so not many sort of knocking around. And that is essentially the cheapest one. So let's just quickly see it. It's from a dealer as well, so that gives you a bit of peace of mind. Um, yeah, it doesn't really give you too much information. Um, it just says it was registered. It was registered quite early, January 5th of, 5th of March. Um, it says 19-inch Estoril alloys, but I can tell you for a fact they're not. They're the 18-inch standard alloys. So this is why descriptions are just completely useless, really. Um, but yeah, so, you know, I've like I said, I've I've driven it very recently and I've spoken to owners, I've done Q&As on the channel. Um, it's brilliant. I hope to drive the 45 soon or I've already driven it and we'll show it soon on the channel. Um, but yeah, essentially it is the same car, 300 horsepower, and that's what you get. <laughs> this car looks completely stock, so it's got really nothing on it, which in fairness, that was the same as the one that I drove relatively recently as well. So it's not a bad thing, but that's the cheapest, 34 grand. And from a VW dealer, you've got one at 35 grand with slightly more miles, um, slightly less miles, I should say. In fact, 6,000 miles less. So it gives you some options there in, in, in Derby. Um, but yeah, a few knocking around. But that's basically it. I, I kind of just want to give people a good little idea and add value to you guys if you're looking at these kind of cars to buy. Um, if you own one and you're just sort of interested to know where the kind of market is, also just kind of the best way to kind of get that gauge from top to bottom. Um, the lowest price being obviously where the kind of benchmark is. And yeah, that gives you some decent idea. I think the reason why this is sub 34,000 is because of the mileage. Um, but I wouldn't let you put that put you off at all, to be honest with you. If the car's been looked after, you know, it's it should all be fine. And a cracking car. And yeah, if you check back on previous content, you'll see how, long, how amazing this car is, what owners kind of think of it, and a bit around what it's like to drive. And if you subscribe, you'll get to see more of um, the car on the channel. Um, so yes, I hope you found this um, video useful. Cheapest Mark 8 GTI Club Sport is £34,000. I did a video, it must have been, it must have been early, start of the year, sort of April time, maybe even before that, February, March time. And this car was, this car sort of appeared on in the UK in January. These cars were nipping towards 29000 And you're talking eight months ago. So that's just where these these crazy times with the computer chip issues, the supply issues, um, all cars have kind of gone up. And these little special cars in the tricky times we've had, obviously, are becoming very desirable. But I hope you find this useful. I'll try and do this once a month. So this is sort of September 2021 to give you a gauge. So, yeah, stay tuned for, um, yeah, for October's edition to see where we are at. But thank you so much for watching. And, um, yeah, I'll see you again next time. Like, share, subscribe for plenty more content to come. Cheers, guys.